Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to make a really simple wine jig out of uh, some copper pipes and uh, a $2 glass cutter from Menards. So the first thing we're going to do is measure lines on a piece of plywood that are three inches apart. That will be where the two uh, copper pipes go that the bottle is going to sit on. Do those the length of the board, then measure one and a half inches in the center of that, so it'll be dead center, and that is going to be the mark where we end up drilling holes for our dowel. Uh, the bottle will rest against the dowel rod and uh, provide a stable place for when you turn the bottle. That way you get a nice clean straight cut. The piece of plywood I'm using is 12 inches by 24 inches. Now we are drilling the uh, holes using a half inch uh, spade bit. I'm doing mine about every two inches. Dot rod fits in there nice. Alright, next up we are going to assemble the copper pipes. So it's a half inch uh, copper pipe T with a 14 inch half inch copper pipe with a 3 quarter inch 13 inch copper pipe uh, put over top of that and then connected to another half inch T. Uh, the 3 quarter inch uh, copper pipe will act as a giant roller basically. Uh, some people use uh, casters or uh, skateboard wheels. I just remodeled my basement so I had this stuff uh, scrap on hand. So I placed the uh, copper pipe where I wanted it on the board and now I am putting on the glass cutter. I'm using uh, half inch copper pipe brackets for those. I kind of flatten them down to uh, secure it into place and I'll secure that with uh, four wood screws. Okay, next up we will put the other leg over top of that and assemble the, I use deck screws with uh, two washers, a three quarter inch washer and then a half inch washer. Uh, then I made sure that um, both ends are, are even. You know, basically at this point anything you can do to help uh, make sure that you get a nice straight even cut. We'll go ahead and we'll use the deck screws and the washers and we'll drill down through the, uh, or screw down through the uh, T fittings and that will secure those into place. Put in the dowel rod and you are all set. Uh, if you guys uh, want to see this jig in action, I have also uploaded a video on how to easily cut a wine bottle. It's incredibly simple with this jig, uh, then using some boiling water and some cold water to get a nice clean cut. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.